How's it going everybody? Today we have another episode in the Skyrim skill series. Today is Alteration. Now right when you get started you're going to want to go to the Guardian Stones and make sure you have the Mage Stones so that it goes 20% faster. And boom. Now after you do this we're headed over to the College of Winterhold for everything Alteration. You're going to want to come and find Tulf Deer. And I actually haven't started the quest line for the college yet, so he's just going to be in the main building for me. Okay, now you're going to come here, talk to him, let the whole little situation play out. And then once it's done, just ask him to trade. And the beginning spells are Candlelight, Mage Light, Oak Flesh, and Stone Flesh. These are the novice and apprentice spells. Read those. And candlelight is actually one of my favorite spells in the game because it's an alternative to holding a torch and this light will follow you so you can still use both hands for weapons or spells and it can also be used underwater. Mage light is a projectile light that will stick to things, either walls or people. If you want two bright lights, you could even stick one on each of your conjured followers and follow you around. And then Oak Flesh is just a weaker version of Stone Flesh, which is just a resist damage spell. Improves the caster's armor rating. Simple. Okay, now we're headed over to Halted Stream Camp. This is also for one of my favorite spells in the game, for Transmute. This allows you to turn iron ore to silver ore to gold ore, so if you're going for smithing, then you're going to 100% need this spell. Come in here, take them all out, haha! <laughs> and then just over here near the chest on the table, unique one of a kind spell, transmute. And then you're going to read that, and when you have ore in your inventory and you simply cast it, it will transmute it. See that? Cast this. Boom. Gold ore added, silver ore added. And when you run out of magic, you can just wait an hour. Keep on casting. And yeah, so great spell. Okay, now we're going over here to Labyrinthian, and I'm just showing you guys this. If you have not completed the college quest line, you will not be able to go inside of this. So now you know, but I couldn't leave this spell out. So you're going to come over here to Labyrinthian. If you've done the Mage's Guild already, come inside. College of Winterhold, sorry. Come inside and, yeah, way down, you're going to find this book. Equilibrium, which allows you to convert health into Magicka. I don't really use this spell, but it's not something I could leave out of this video. And just like that, health turns to magic. And now we are going to be headed over to Redwater Den. And this is to get the spell Telekinesis. Because this is one of the best ways to boost our alteration. Just come in here, make your way down. Hey there, friend. If you're looking for and you're going to come into this room with all these stills and vampires. And then just in this cell right here, we have telekinesis. Pick that up, read it, equip it. Okay, and now all you have to do is just pick up any item. Your magic bar will instantly run out and you will basically go up a level every single time. And you can just wait an hour, keep picking it up, magic runs out, wait an hour, and for anyone who doesn't want to cheat, you know, this this is the fastest way to get your alteration up, for sure, is to just pick things up with telekinesis and wait. 
And yeah, so if you make a suit where your alteration costs 25% less to cast on a necklace, a ring, a helmet, and a chest piece, then it doesn't cost any magic to use telekinesis. If you want to make this suit of armor, follow my enchanting video. And then it costs nothing to cast. You can drop something on the ground and just pick it up forever. I have the power. All right, now, once you do this and get it to 50, you don't need this suit, guys. You can just wait the hour, but I'm just giving an example. Once you get it to 50, go back to the college and find Tolftier. For me, he was at this ruin because I just just started the College of Winterhold questline. And then for the Adept level 50 spells, it's going to be Detect Life, Iron Flesh, Paralysis Rune, which is Creation Club. That's a Creation Club spell, and Water Breathing. So, Detect Life speaks for itself. You can detect living beings. And then Iron Flesh, just a stronger uh, damage resist spell. Improves your armor. And then Paralysis Rune, Creation Club spell. You can have a lot of fun with this. Normally people would walk onto it. They need a little needed a little persuasion. Tolf Deer. You alright, bud? Yeah, you're still smiling. Okay. And water breathing also speaks for itself. And then proceed to use your telekinesis. And once you get it to level 75, the spells that you can get are Paralyze, Ebony Flesh, and Detect Undead. Okay. Read those. My least favorite out of those three is Detect Undead. I don't really use that, but. And then Ebony Flesh. Proves the caster's armor rating by 100. This is exciting, isn't it? Of course it's exciting. I'm getting my alteration up. Okay, guys, now we're going to Tell Mithrin on the island of Solstheim because there's two alteration spells you can only get here come to the big shroom make your way up walk in the door watch Neloth break his legs sorry Neloth I don't got time to help you from your six story fall and then you're just gonna wanna come over here and talk to Talvis ask him what he's got for sale and he will have ash rune and ash shell which are both basically paralyzed also. And Ash Shell is actually a level 50 paralyzed spell. So here's Ash Rune and Ash Shell. Hit him with Ash Shell. Cover him with Ash. But really you're just taking his colors off and making him gray. And then this is Ash Rune. Basically the same thing, but people walk over it. Talvis. Quit rolling around. Okay. Now, for Paralyze, I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite things to do. Now, if you're wearing the Alteration suit that I showed that makes it cost nothing to cast, then you can have a lot of fun with this. And this is also an extremely fast way to level up your Alteration. Just put Paralyze in each hand and let the fun begin. Boom. Boom. Haha. -ha. Try and hit me. Try and get one hit. Peasants. Ha. 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 Bam. 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 And yeah, guys, it really takes no time to get uh, alteration up when you just keep paralyzing people. Funny thing about this is you're actually not attacking people doing physical damage, so you don't actually get in trouble after all this once you run away. And once you get it to 95, flee the scene and let all the children calm down. Okay, now we're going to Winterhold, and this is for the first out of five alteration skill books. In the first house near to the college. I'm gonna come inside here. Thesda loves hiding things in baskets. I don't know why. We've stopped. What 
And here we have breathing water. Alteration increased to 96. Now we're coming over to Markarth to the Understone Keep for two out of five alteration skill books. Beautiful sight to see. And then just to the right of where the Jarl sits on this stone table. Boom. Alteration increased to 97. And now we're coming over to Snow Shod Farm. And this is for 3 out of 5 skill books for alteration. A lot of guards here. I don't know why I had to sneak in. Watch the magic. And once you're inside, just come into the basement and at the bottom of this shelf here, boom. Okay guys, now we're coming over to Solitude Lighthouse and this is for 4 out of 5 alteration skill books. Your Solitude way in the distance. And just over here, on this little desk, boom. Okay guys, now for the final alteration skill book, you're going to want to come to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. And there are one of these books in each Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, the one outside Falkreath and Dawnstar, and this is for the Book of Sithis. Boom. Alteration 100. Okay, now we're gonna legendary it, take all the points out, go outside, and drop one thing on the ground. This is for the quickest way to do alteration if you're willing to cheat. And have telekinesis in one hand, pick something up, and then fast travel to a far city or anywhere far in the distance. And by the time you arrive, your alteration will already be at 100. Why didn't you start with this, someone may say. Because if I did, someone was going to complain about cheating. So, I showed it the legitimate way first. Don't forget that. Okay, so drop another item on the ground after we legendary it a second time. Fast travel again. And after you have done that three times, you will have enough perks to get every single perk in the Alteration Tree. Novice Alteration, Alteration Dual Casting to make Alteration spells more powerful, Apprentice Alteration, Magic Resistance, to block spell effects, Adept Alteration, Mage Armor to make all those protection spells do more. Stability, Expert Alteration, Atronach, so 30% of spells that hit you, and Master Alteration. And that's it guys, all of the perks in the Alteration Tree. What a sight to see. Okay, and now we're going back to Tolfdir, he's probably at the college for you, but again for me, he's right here. And this is to get the Master Spells for Alteration. Well, I've been working on something. I need you to collect some dragon scales. And not just any dragon scales. As I've said, I made some progress using the essence of dragon scales, but they're just not quite potent enough. But I did some research and discovered two things. First, there are ancient references to dragon heart scales. What little I could learn suggests they may be what I need. Second, there are stories of a dagger called Calvazine's Fang, said to be sharp enough to carve individual scales off a dragon. First, you'll need to retrieve the dagger, then use it to carve a few scales off a dragon. That would be wonderful. Okay, guys, now he's going to send you somewhere to find this dagger, and it's a radiant quest, so it might be anywhere for you. For me, it was right here. And once you do that, make your way into the dungeon all the way down, la la la, you know the drill, same old song and dance, and you will find the dagger in the final boss chest. Okay, now take that. What shout did we get? Oh, Aurora's Whisper, nobody cares. Okay, and now you just need to kill a dragon. 
and then hit it with this dagger. So, just went to this dragon shrine. Hit him a couple times, and then this will kick in. Boom. And then go back to Tall Deer. Alright, and once you go back to Tulfdir, he will give you one for free, and then you have to buy the other spell. And that's it. I certainly think you deserve the first copy of the tome. I certainly think I deserve both, you cheap old man. Okay, dragon hide added. Ask him what he's got for sale, and he will sell you mass paralysis. Read those. And then, yeah, they cost a lot to cast, so... Normally it would be 278, that's with every perk in the tree. Dragon Hide 248 ignores 80% of physical damage. And then Mass Paralysis just, you know, paralyzes everybody in the room. What's not to like? And that pretty much sums it up for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I got lots coming, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.